and on and I saw a ton of deer come right right through this little travel corridor. I assume it's a doe bedding area or something because I was here in the rut. So there's a little buck sign, a couple rubs, a scrape, a few scrapes within about 50 yards of me on either side of the thicket. So uh, we're going to sit tight and hopefully one strolls by probably doe or buck today. Uh, we'll see what happens though and then make an adjustment tomorrow based off what we see today. We got about an hour and a half of light left and the sun just poked through for the first time. It started pouring down rain on us this morning about 11 o'clock um, after we saw those two does and we ripped that down and as soon as it stopped raining we came in on the way in we saw two does as well um, headed down into that bedding thicket but she's starting to head this way so I'm gonna be quiet here and see what happens. goodness all right guys so you saw it um, I just missed a doe at 20 yards I don't know how I don't know why uh, I mean I shot before I left and everything was good everything looks good I just checked out my site um, maybe I just pulled off of her she did just what she was at 80 yards I said oh, I hope that they come in and feet on these acorns and her, her and the other doe with her that's she beelined straight to me but anyway I missed her uh, right over her back <laughs> I still know what happened maybe the audio will be bad on this and I can't use it or something oh man it's a bummer mainly you just want to make a good shot I'm glad I missed her but I didn't, you know, make a bad shot otherwise, but it's a little embarrassing because I got it on film and because uh, and it was only 20 yards. But anyway, here we are. I still got an hour left of light and I can hear acorns falling now. Shoot, I might have some other, another doe group coming here, maybe even a buck this time. Hopefully without the same result. <laughs> but, uh, Man, she read the script. Read the script. So that's exciting. That part's fun. Getting that close to him is fun, especially on public. Missing him. Not so fun. No deer this morning. I saw one when I was setting up. I'm about 100 yards away. I 
never did. It just flashed across an opening, but that's it. some fresh fresh rubs out here around in some willows so I sat it today with that high pressure um, but now the day winds are up and uh, I think we, we saw those two yearlings they came right up under the tree eating acorns just like I was hoping but um, I didn't see any buck movement so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get down with the day winds picking up and the, uh, the pressure dropping 